able to be like, did you go to tanning? Like, no, I did it myself. Hey, you guys. We are filming another Get Ready With Me. Oh my gosh, my hair. The hair strands. I'm not used to like the layers again, which I'm going to have to put that back. I'm wearing my Barbie shirt and we're going to get ready to go to the club. Well, I don't know if it's a club, but it's a bar, but we're just going to say it's a club. Be like, get ready to go to the club. That I'm most likely going to run into my ex. Yay. And some other tea. I'm going with another ex platonically. Let me explain. Basically, me and one of the guys I had dated both like wanted to stay on good terms because like we value our friendship and it's been like a few years already now. It's hard, but this guy are at a good place where like we're good. But like with this other ex that I'm gonna see, like he's kind of in the current friend group and he broke my heart almost six months ago now. It's just more recent, you know? And then the other guy that I'm going with like platonically that I kind of had a thing with in the past, just moved past everything and we're cool. And we're like in another friend group too, but like we're all good. So he's gonna help me get out of my comfort zone because just naturally I'm really shy, but we are gonna get ready and hustle. Let's get it. I also got myself a coffee because your girl needs it. And you guys, I got my nails done. They are really pretty. And let's get into this. Oh my gosh, where do we start? Should I just like change into my dress? Would that be easier to do the makeup or would that be worse? Let's just change it up, change into my dress. Okay, and hey y'all, you guys get to see the dress a little bit early. It'd just be easier because I'm gonna go all out with makeup tonight. What we're gonna do first is this tinted moisturizer. Let's see, I should take off my ring for later, I guess. I put my necklace on and was like, no, I need to like, see, I'm doing it a little bit different. We gotta stick out, step out. I don't know. I'm really not that great with makeup still. But, oh, that's like what I want to talk about though. I would rather do my own makeup over my hair. I like have to have a hairstylist. Like I'm not really that great with styling my hair yet. It's something I want to work on, but being an only child, I always had like that luxury of getting my hair like done by like my mom or like hair appointments, you know? I kind of always got like lucky with that. That's why I never really like got to learn and it kind of sucks. I don't know. Am I gonna hate this? Am I overdoing it? I just like wanted to look kind of different with some extra like tint. Try to keep my party dresses in like good condition. If this is gonna be on my face, it gotta be on majority of my body. Is we clubbing tonight, so it gotta look good. I don't even know if it's gonna blend well, but you know, we'll just try. You never know until you try. Thankfully it'll be dark outside too, so it's not like people are really gonna like notice. But see, it just looks a little bit darker. It looks like I tanned in the sun. I haven't really got to tan that much yet, but summer like just started, so I'll get there. I'm actually gonna get rid of this after tonight because I bought a new one and I heard that it's really good to get rid of once you have them for a few months and use them. So, plus I got a new one anyway. I'm starting with tinted moisturizer today. I don't know if I'm overdoing it or not. I don't know. Should have I even done the shoulders? I feel like it just goes with like the body, but I don't know. Maybe I overdid it. I don't know, but it's okay. Do we want to do tinted moisturizer? I guess we can. We did primer first last time. I don't know what difference it will make. I don't have a makeup routine. I mean, I do. Like I have steps obviously, but I'm still not doing everything right. And meanwhile, my makeup still turns out okay. <laughs> I don't know how. Look, I look tan, you guys. <laughs> See, I don't even need to self tan. I can just do this. Should we get more of the arms? Maybe I'm gonna overdo it, but they need to get bronzed up a little. Wait, if I do the top, maybe I have to do my arms too. <laughs> oh no. I just feel like stepping out, you know? Showing who's boss. I just felt weird like doing it on the shoulders. But I guess we can try. It means I gotta take a real good shower afterwards to get all those out or just tons of makeup remover. I do have like my Pacifica ones that are really good, but I've shown you guys before. I blend her in because like we can get a little bit of like the arms, but we don't need anything like too crazy with arms. Just like a little. So it just kind of blends in. Like on the lower arm, you want the higher arm a little bit more. I don't know, I just want to be cute. I don't normally do this, but it's like clubbing kind of tonight, so a little bit different of a get ready with me. Don't know if it really like did that much, but it just helps a little. Like it looks so good, you guys. Okay, I think it looks cute. So the best we could do. Everyone's gonna be like, did you go to tanning? <laughs> like, no, I did it myself. See, look at those golden arms. Where's my primer? I use my finger and put it all over my face. I guess multiple fingers, yeah. Make sure it's really gonna blend in. I put a lot of product like on my face, so it makes me look like darker for when I'm going out like with my friends. And X's apparently. X's and O's. <laughs> like tic-tac-toe. And uh-uh-oh's, they want me. I'm just kidding! Now I've had exes try to fight for me again, but then they like didn't want a commitment. It was just like, well then what's the point of like fighting for me? <laughs> it's like, okay, make it make sense. I guess I just still look that good. No, I don't know guys. I give the best dating advice, but at the same time, like the worst because I've dated enough to know what boys are like, but I'm not like wifed up. I still don't know. Boys still be playing with my feelings. So I still don't know what best advice to give. Just like beers. 
Yeah. Oh, okay, have fun. Yeah, love you, honey. Thanks, love you too. I have to go soon. And I'm trying to do better at being on time, which like, I feel like I'm killing it. Just to blend it all in. It's a powder, so it helps a lot. I've actually been talking to this new guy and I kind of hope he'll like come tonight. I'm not sure if he will though. He told me like no promises, but he's been like texting me a lot. So I can't really tell if he likes me or not, but I'm fine with just texting. Like I think the texting talking phase is totally normal. And honestly, that's like my favorite phase because you're just like getting to know someone and there's no pressure. It's not like you're trying to be like, hey, let's get married. You know, like I don't even want to get married right away anyways. Like I need to date the guy for like a couple of years or so. You know what I mean? Maybe longer. <laughs> when I was younger, I was like six year relationship. <laughs> um, just cause like, I don't know, people change, you know, you want to be sure you're with that person forever cause then you'll be with them longer, right? That's always why I thought like that with dating length, but also like I was in a long-term relationship and probably if him and I would have stayed together, it would have been like six years, but I don't know, when you get older, like you change your mind, it just depends of the time of life you're in, honestly. I'm doing this today just to make it blend a little bit nicer, I don't typically like do this with my arms. <laughs> yeah, I won't like be upset, I'll be like bummed, but I'll be like, oh. Cause I'm trying to figure out if this guy likes me or not. But yes, I met him at the gym. Gym boys are hot. I've dated like way too many. The last two guys I literally dated were from my gym, but you know, it's fine. How else am I gonna meet people? I'm busy with school right now. I'd love to go to like a singles group at church because my grandparents met there and like fell in love. And I think that's so like romantic, but I just don't have time right now. I'm just busy with school. And also one that my friend recommended to me isn't close to home for me. So that's another reason too. We have the gym. I'm not dating a guy from school again though. <laughs> but the worst part was he still went to my gym. So. But thankfully it's the first guy, like he works at another location now. Thank goodness, oh my gosh. I'm gonna put this blush on like a rose one i like to do my fingers personally it just makes it like better that's what i've learned with blush you gotta do your fingers because it just blends in way better but i also have like a highlight i think i'm gonna try and blend it in i did that last time and it kind of slayed but yeah that's what i've learned um let's do the highlight now i might do the same thing honestly sometimes using your fingers works way better yeah that highlight girl yes slay I love it. It just adds some extra sparkle. It doesn't make the blush too strong because that blush is a stronger blush. So the highlight helps make it really subtle. Again, I'm not a makeup artist by all means, but I like it. If it's me doing it, sure. I think I just have to do better with blending. We got to blend her in. We got to blend her in. <laughs> so that It's cute. Okay, I'm excited. Hey. I also got this new ah, Barbie set. We're going to play around. I love how like, this is Barbie. This was more the cartoon Barbie. This is Barbie from the actual movie coming out. So two different Barbies, but the same at the same time. Isn't that crazy? Well, yeah, cause Mattel owns Barbie. Which like the Barbie history itself, like the Barbie dolls I grew up with is really fascinating to learn about. There's like this whole story. I don't remember all of it, but I remember watching a documentary on Mattel and how that came about and some stuff that had happened. It's like fascinating learning about business stuff. That's what's been cool going back to school like for business is like learning about it. I need to watch that documentary again. I remember being so invested because I loved Barbie. I mean, I'm kind of going for a Barbie inspo tonight. Barbie is my girl. I'm the brunette Barbie. <laughs> I don't know if I want to dye my hair blonde. I would love to get like blonde extensions. Yeah, I'm considering that, but it's so expensive. So it probably won't happen anytime soon. Another Barbie product that I love. I use this because we're going crazy. We're going out tonight. Last time I was like, oh, because of post breakup, like get ready with me. Now I'm like, we're getting crazy and running into exes. Guys, what do I want to do for lip gloss? I kind of want to use this or this or this, but that's too light. We probably won't. This one I'm like the most excited for. I don't know if it's going to match. Let's like try it. That's like on my lips. Mm -hmm. I love it, but I don't know. This one will match a little bit better. See, look at that highlight pink. I want this all around the chest because I want to be like sparkly and like pretty. I want that sparkle. I want that pop. I want that highlight. <laughs> on the arms too. Sure, why not? I just do it over Kleenex because I don't have to worry about cleaning a rag later. <laughs> I'm so cheap. I have like so many rags I buy from Target too, you guys. Yeah, we're going all out with the armsies made up that word. Oh my gosh, look at me glow. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have sparkles for weeks. One time with one of my childhood besties, I had a ton of sparkles on her back when we were preteens. Didn't know how to do makeup. Well, the worst part was she was in high school already and on accident, on accident, I like poured a ton of sparkles on her hair and she had it for two weeks. If you think about it, when you're in high school, that's kind of like embarrassing. So I feel so bad. My preteen self, <laughs> so dumb. I didn't mean to do that much. It just came out. I meant to do a little sparkle that was the intention. And it was like kid makeup too. So terrible. In the archives, there's a picture somewhere, but I don't remember where. And then literally it all got on her face. No, it literally all got on her hair. And I was like, she was like, are you almost done? And I was like, ah! <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm sure you're gonna love it. Like girl, take a look. And she 
he was like, oh my gosh. Look at Soleil, hey. I want to stand out in the club. I want to be like, sparkle, 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 because I want to Soleil, hey. Well, this is a particular night too, of running into like an ex as well. Gotta show him that he broke up with her. No, for real, or unless if he doesn't come, that's great. <laughs> oh, look pretty in the club. You're like, oh, hey, look at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm so shy. <laughs> Actually, I invited a lot of guy friends though, because like with running into an ex, I'm like, I'm gonna be talking to some other boys, because I won't really have the courage to go up to strangers. No, there are some cute boys at the bar. I just don't know if I want to date a guy from the bar, but they're cute. I'm gonna add a little hint of this pink. We got this. We're gonna like. Hey. I don't often get like this glam, so this is fun. I got this new Mod Vanilla Perfume, which I'm actually gonna put on as well. I know I'm putting way too much product on, but this actually smells really nice on me. I tested it, so. Ariana, smell like sugar. <laughs> Almost forgot, oh my gosh, this is my purse for tonight. These are the heels and this is the ring. Okay, bye, I'm gonna go.